welcome to Farming Simulator 19 New Mods. And today we have got some new mods, would you believe? We've got quite a few. A bit deceiving in the mod hub, but it does show more whether in different categories. We're just going to have a look in the mod hub now. Today we got a few new mods. I did get excited when I seen the map, but realised it's just an update. We go over to latest and there we have a couple of updates the lift the bag and lifter is an update and then we've got the Vultra T let's go in and have a look at that now that's quite a good tractor that one I'm sure that one is the one where you can drive backwards where it spins round in the seat I could be wrong we'll have a look at that then we've also got the Paz TSL 8.7 now that's pretty handy a bit of kit with the 180 swiveling however I remember last time it was a bit of a nightmare but it looks like you can put a front weight uh, a weight on the back of that and that's by creative mesh and wop star and this one was by giant software and we got to a sprayer and that's by giants 28 meter w working width then we finally got a silage roller from Flegel 61.1 centimeters a width of 3 meters they worked really well not that we needed it I found that all of the silage I've done has been I haven't had to roll it many times we got another front shovel now I'm sure that's the same capacity we need like 3000 litre ones but that's by Toxic Toxicom and then we got an essential part of the kit for the man truck because that truck is 640 I haven't used it because it didn't have a trailer and now it's got a trailer especially that trailer you can put 8 metre loads on the back of that or maybe even longer so that's a good one, that's by Toxicom. And then last one is the BioBelt RC180 Rotary Cutter. Right, so first all first of all we're gonna have a look at the Car the Caruel Stiller 460. Now this is a sprayer, obviously but you can do fertilizer as well as herbicide. It has got, um, you can have a narrow tire version for an extra 500 pounds. Let's just unfold that. Because it is a 28 meter boom. Wow, that's yeah, that's quite big. Which is a little bit smaller than uh, most of the other ones are 36, and there is a one slightly smaller than that as well. Yeah, good animation, right? It costs 66 grand, so it's one of the cheaper, because there's one a little bit cheaper, no, a little bit more money, but wider, so it's a sort of mid-range one. And it will hold 4,600 litres of fertiliser or herbicide. Uh, you can lease it for 3,391. So another fertilizer to the collection and then the tractor what is pulling it is the Valtra T34 now this is the next size up from the other cow edition we've got currently and I do like these tractors they're pretty pretty smart now to buy it is £177,000 with a leasing initial leasing of £9,027 and it comes with 210 horsepower and the top speed on them is 31 mile an hour it says in the shop but on the speeder there you can see it does say 32 inside 
it would look pretty pretty nice the detail detailing on all the mods has been pretty good joints FM pretty good well, there you go cool so it comes with all the different uh, wheel mod mods we we've got with the weights 1200 pounds wide tires extra 2k then you can have also have knock-ins which are extra grand and then you have wide wheels and weights and then you have the double rear twins and then full twins which this will, will make the capacity of that tractor over 300 odd horsepower easy well more like the 350 you might even be able to push it to 400 with that extra traction if you get some weights on the front of it but all in all pretty nice you can change the color of the wheels uh, pretty nice tractor I do like that and if you want the extra horsepower it will cost you an extra 20 grand and that'll take you up to 250 horse but pretty nice tractor I might even be purchasing one of those I forgot about the steering as well of course it's got the reverse steer and you've also got which you've got the buddy seat there so hopefully that works on multiplayer I'll check that see if that's working but that's pretty pretty cool the slots on the slots on this is my minus 18 slots now we've got the Fliegel silage roller roller silo roller sorry and it's minus 18 slots you can buy it for nine thousand and seventy seven pounds or you can lease it for 66 pack no sorry you can lease it for 462 pounds so just for compacting your silage down however I think they probably turned the silage compacting down because I found it only took a couple of goes in it it was compacted then we got another mower now you think oh well there's nothing special about this but this runs it only takes 12 horsepower to actually uh, 16 horsepower to actually run it now it costs 999 pounds and you can lease it for 50 quid so not bad not bad all the colors you can have all different colors if you want with that also moving on then we've got the well it said the Poise but it's a Kramer KM and it was I thought it was the tilt one but it's not it's just your normal telehandler uh, boom in boom out but yeah it hasn't got the 180 degree tilt which must it is a variant of this one because I know on the back as well you could actually have a three point attachment on there so you can fit extra weights uh, no problem with that now these cost 60 grand to buy so quite cheap I think that is the cheapest telehandler actually uh, well it calls it a front loader but telehandler front load same bloody thing really and you can lease it for £3,060 and you can have the communal knocking tyres which we've got on there now yeah all pretty much well I've seen this before this came out um, towards the end of FS 17 does 24 mile an hour so there you go another front loader let's turn that engine off then last but not least by a long long way we have a proper timber trailer now this is what I've been waiting for to get rid of a load of wood because you can just put nice sizes on here and it connects up with this truck I've been dying to use this truck 
but what's the point if you can only take one load at a time because you didn't have a trailer for it it just wouldn't match up with the timber runner whatsoever so that is a very nice welcomed mod we should have had that ages ago but there you have it. it's here now they can be used together awesome so this is the BioBets TTLT 500 and it will cost you £1,899 looks like we've got quite a few lights going on there let's hook him up oh sorry camera's spinning around all over the place yep and we need to go forwards not back so whoa whoa do whoa 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 nice cameras all over the shop today so we've got the reverse lights on there then indicators obviously I wish we had hazards it looks so much better if you could have hazards on there no side lights no I did think this tilted but it looks like it doesn't but it does look quite maneuverable which is good you've got a lot of articulation or oh, as long as you don't hit the building So yeah, we can finally use that setup, which is awesome. I forgot to mention we have the front loader bucket, and this will cost you £1,299, or you can lease it for £66. It's only minus one slot, uh, but it is, I think it was 1,780 litres which I thought that was the same size as the other one but the other one is only 1200 so it is a welcomed bigger bucket which is pretty pretty cool we just need the attacher so we can put weights on the back to be able to lift up stuff a lot easier but there you go right I think that is about it for to today um, a few mods there nothing to get too excited about but I do like the the cow. It's awesome, awesome. I love these vultures. They're pretty, pretty nice tractors. And for the money, an absolute bargain. So there you go. Right out. Well, we we'll leave it there for today. Thanks for joining me. If you've enjoyed the episode, then please leave a like. And if you want to see more content, then hit the subscribe. I'll always be in your homepage then, so you'll always be able to catch up on videos. Okay, thanks for watching. Till the next time, goodbye.